In this Q Java tutorial, you're gonna know exactly how to use cues. If you're confused about cues like I was, then this is the video for you, okay? If you're new here, my name's Alex. I make these Java videos every single week to help you learn Java because I know for me it was pretty hard. So if you wanna make your life a little simpler with some Java tutorials from me, then you can consider subscribing. I'm gonna start off by making a new Java project. So just go to File, New Java Project, call it like, and stuff, hit finish. And then on the source folder, make a new class, call it like barbecue. Hit the first check mark and hit finish. We're not doing any programming at all, we're just talking, me and you. We're cooking up a barbecue, you've got some ribs, you've got some hamburgers, hush puppies and Brunswick stew. What everyone's really coming for is your pulled pork barbecue. Word has spread, your barbecue is very popular, and there's a bunch of people coming to go eat. It's a sunny 4 p.m. on a Saturday, you're starting up the grills, and you already see three people in line. So they got first dibs on your pulled pork barbecue. They were here first, because they showed up and stood in line. As you're cooking, you're having a nice conversation with them and you get to know their names. First person in line is a kid named Jackson. The second person in line's name is Tyreek. He's a computer scientist just like you and I. And the last person in line is a mom named Susan. So we've got Jackson, Tyreek, and Susan. Jackson's very first. Once the food's ready, they start getting out their plates. Jackson comes up, you give him his, since he was first. Next, Tyreek comes up and holds up his plate and you serve Tyreek. And lastly, Susan comes up and you serve Susan her barbecue. That very simple scenario of feeding people in a line in the order they came is how a queue works in Java. So to make a queue in Java, you just type queue. Um, this is how you would do any other object. We'll name it um, our barbecue line equals new queue. There's some red underlines. We need to bring in that queue code, hover over it and click import. This creates an import statement which brings in the queue code so we can use it. I actually did this wrong. This can't be queue. Any other object would look like this. This first one would be the same as right here, but here we have to type linked list. Don't worry about that too much. Import that linked list by hovering over it and clicking this. There are yellow underlines now because it wants to know what type and we're just gonna use names. So that sounds like a string. So we'll put our alligators here and here with string. Just showing that the queue is gonna have string elements. Let's add our people in line. So we have our barbecue line dot to bring up what the barbecue line can do. It can do all these things just like any queue. It has a bunch of methods for it, but we're gonna start off by typing add. This will add elements to our line. So we'll type Jackson since he was there first. Jackson. Next in line was Tyreek. Tyreek. The very last in line was Susan. Like that. If we print this out, then we'll see everybody in our line. So I'll save it and run it. And we got Jackson, Tyreek, Susan. When we were serving out food, we only cared about the very first person the next person in line. And the two most important methods for a queue are seeing the next person in line and actually feeding the next person in line, taking them out of line. To take someone out of line, we do dot poll that takes out the next person from the line. So if we save and run this, then Jackson's out. He already got his food. If we do this again, then it would take Tyreek too. And if we do it one more time, then we've taken three people out of line and it's empty. If you put this inside of a print statement, it'll return the element. So we have Jackson. If you wanna just look up and see the next person, but not actually give them their food, you can do peek. Just take a peek, don't, don't take them out of line yet. So we see Jackson, but he's still in line. So that's the basics. Let's do one more example with more Q methods. To make our Q, we just type Q. I'll just name it Q. Say new linked list for some reason. 
these classes are related, you have to do linked list and not queue. We'll do like strings again. This could be anything. It could be integers or doubles or whatever. But we'll do strings again and we'll add a, b, c. That's really easy. So we'll queue dot add a, add b, and we'll add c. Print it out, we get a, b, c. We can peek and pull like before. To get the a out of line, we'll do pull. And now a is out of line. We can also just peek and leave it in line. But there are some other great methods you can do with queues. Say if you wanted to get the size of a queue, you could do queue.size, and this should print out three. You can also see if the line contains a certain element. So you can see if it contains the letter G, and since it doesn't, we get false. But if we put something we know, the queue contains C, so if we check it, then we get true. I'll show you one more. Um, you can also convert it to an array. So you could do to array and then get a certain element from it. So we could do like get element at index one, save it and run it. Now we get B, since it's turned into an array, we can access it like an array with square brackets. If we got the element at index two, then we get C. And there's all sorts of methods you can do with it, but the big ones here are pull and peek. Pull, you just grab the next person in line, the line will shrink, or you can just take a peek at the person. I hope I did a good job explaining that. I hope the visualization worked for you because with queues and stacks and these data structures, it's always best to have a visualization instead of just like looking at the output from the screen all the time. Thank you for letting me teach you. If you like this style of videos, I have like 30 or 40 other Java tutorials out already and I'm always making more. So you can subscribe if you want. I hope you have a great rest of your day and uh, barbecue sounds really good right now. I might get some, but I'll see you later.